APR, Voices from the Field. Meet a Certified Paraprofessional, Part 3. Who are you, where are you employed, and what is your role? My name is Vicki Dupuy. I work at Stillings Grove Elementary School. Um, I am a paraprofessional for the, in the autistic support room. What does it take to be an effective paraprofessional? You have to realize that you're not just working with the kids, you're working with the kids, the staff, the teachers, the administration. You have to all understand and you know work together for that child. What advice do you have for someone who is new to this work or considering this field? Know that every day is never going to be the same. And I think that's probably why it is rewarding too, is that not one day is ever the same as the other day. I would say definitely try it. I mean, especially if you want to become a teacher one day, um, starting in the para role is probably the best thing for you to do, especially if you're going to college and you're trying to, you know, make some, make a little bit of money. It's the best thing because you get, you, you, you can learn. You can learn through the teachers that are there. I mean, I've learned so much through the teacher that I work with. Like, I just, she's an amazing person. Um, so try it. I mean, it doesn't hurt anything to try. I mean, and you're just gonna love it. If you work with kids in preschools and stuff like that, it's the best job ever. Like, it really is. Interested in learning more? Visit us today at tinyurl.com slash Pennsylvania APR.